for a man to protect his wife from over controlling mother with Jezebel spirits? Great question. Um, the Bible says, uh, men wash your husbands, wash your wives with the word. Um, living by the word is also a part of washing with the word, washing their mindset. And so the thing is, you got to lead by example, um, because if you try to dictate how the individual engage with that kind of spirit and you're trying to fight flesh with flesh, then you're going to lose at best. Right. But if you fight the flesh with the spirit, when you're with flesh to flesh, all you can do is be kind. The Bible says kindness will eat coals of fire in a person's head. In other words, it will help renew their mind, right? But if you're knowing what's going on in the spiritual world, all you got to do is while you're walking in love in front of them, in your prayer closet, you're going against the spirit that's in them. So this is what you do. Anytime you uh, are dealing with spiritual warfare or controlling manipulative spirits and you see that a significant other is falling prey to it, that's when you pray through it. And what I mean by that is you target your prayers right at the demonic spirit that's there. Right. The issue is you got to stay with spiritual warfare. Demons are going to try to get you frustrated. De the best way to get you off your block, to get you off your prayer clock, right, to get you away from whatever it is that God wants you to pray on specifically about that demonic spirit is for you to fight flesh with flesh. She will get more agitated the more you begin to pray that demon off of her. Right. The, your wife may even become even more uh, uh, clingy to the individual the more you begin to pray. But the Bible talked about when Daniel, that when Daniel was praying, uh, the angel heard him on day one, but the prince to Pally of Persia, try to keep him from pushing through into Daniel. You have to be consistent while still walking in love. The reason why I say that is so that you can always rise above what they try to throw at you, right? Because they're going to try to throw things to get you. The demons are going to try to throw things through the flesh that they're using to get you to fight flesh and flesh, cause you to be frustrated, end up causing you to be trying to be finished with it, right? But what you do is, even in the midst of, you already know the game. You already know what's being plain, uh, plainly seen in front of your sight. So what you do is, is that you continue to walk in love, continue to be kind, and walk away if you start feeling yourself getting out of line. But in the meantime, get in your prayer closet and pray, target prayers against that individual. Not individual, but that demonic demon spirit in the individual. So what you'll say is, I command every demonic controlling spirit using this individual to cease. I counsel every plot and scheme. I break any type of connecting spirits that's trying to connect uh, generationally through this said person and your spouse, right? And your wife, right? Because you're the head of the house, fam. And that's when you stand your ground and, and, and operate as you're the head of the house. And then ask the Holy Spirit to open the door for you to have a conversation with your wife so that she can be abreast of what's going on in that situation. That's some basic spiritual warfare advice that I think will help you, fam, when it comes to dealing with someone trying to control. Listen, the enemy is going to try to open or utilize any open door, open window, any area to try to get into your home to sabotage it. You as a man, you control it. So what you do, you keep loving on your wife, keep loving on that mother that's in that person's life. And then if it starts getting to a place where your wife is not bending and then you got to operate and say hey, yo we're not going to be around that simple as that if we, but but ask the holy spirit first to open an opportunity for you to have a conversation with your wife after them prayed over a few nights after you done prayed for it and when you begin to see the open door opening in regards to you to have an open conversation with her then you can communicate boldly what the demonic spirit is trying to do to sabotage your union because jezebel spirits wants to control men because men don't want to be men of god and men of god take stand takes a stand especially in their family thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to engage more content make sure you check out the videos over here if you want to learn more about the books that i've written or the cards that i've created or ways that you can support and engage with what i do online make sure you check out the links in the description box below and if you've been watching this far you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe hit that bell and make sure you leave a comment i would love to read it and would love to engage and be your coach online i'll see you on the next video peace